Hey, it's Big G, and I'm standing right here in New York City, the capital of the art world and the finance world. So today I want to talk to you about why you should invest in art, in short. So I began a lot of people I've been talking to who have been interested in NFTs and investing as a kind of a hedge against inflation that we see today, which is very high given a lot of economic factors. So why should you invest in art? The cool thing about art that I found in my research is that art has a lower correlation rate than other equities compared to the S&P 500, actually beats the S&P 500 over a few decades of time. It's a good hedge against inflation because art is physical, so it's a physically scarce, and art is freaking cool. Like it tells different stories, you know, from the Da Vinci, a contemporary NFT, it tells a really interesting story. So art has physical properties um, in terms of value. It beats the S&P 500, usually blue chip artwork, and let's talk about NFTs. NFTs have been the hottest thing lately. I love them myself. But in terms of blue chip art, you should probably invest in blue chip art that has a proven track record of auction houses and has a good return around 15 to 30% historically. And art is freaking cool. It tells a story about humankind. It's interesting. And if you like, you should invest in art that you like, what resonates with you, not just about finances. You should invest in something that really gravitates, to, gravitates your interests. You like this story, you like this vase. Just invest in something you like and research it and the returns will come. Just do what you like with art investing. So, you know, art tells a million pictures. This video is art. I'm in front of New York City, the skyline is art. So go invest in art, start, start easy and then uh, take it from there. I'm out.